it does seem just misspoke one word in one sentence on one day. I hadn't done anything that was morally or ethically wrong. What we're doing here is standing on a principle about what America is. We're missing something. We're missing the heart of what makes America. And a, and a deep respect for life, that, that's underlying everything. Not sure how he gets that from his comments, but that was Representative Todd Aiken, candidate for U.S. Senate, defending himself on Mike Huckabee's radio show earlier today, explaining his controversial comments on rape. He said that respect for life is part of our culture and, quote, maybe the party needs to include that as part of the party. Well, it appears Aiken may get his wish. Even as the GOP establishment is calling on Aiken to exit the race in Missouri, Republicans approved language today in their party platform that calls for a constitutional ban on abortions. That language did not include any explicit exceptions for rape or incest. The full convention is set to vote on the platform on Monday. And uh, before the break, we were talking about the presidential race and the impact of it. This could leave some Romney voters home in Missouri, and Missouri could be a tipping point state. Yes, no? Oh, absolutely. It's, a de it's definitely a battleground state. Uh, I think where this, uh, if you're a conservative Republican who hates President Obama in Missouri, you're going to vote for Mitt Romney no matter what Todd Aiken says. What this does is two things. One is Democrats and independents, particularly women who might have been on the fence between Romney and Obama. If the Obama campaign and their surrogates are able to successfully tie the platform of the GOP and the platform of Romney Ryan to Todd Aiken, then that hurts Romney. The other thing it does is it so mobilizes left of center voters that might not have been enthused about voting for President Obama. Obama's done a lot of things to tick off folks on the left. Mm -hmm. The war in Afghanistan, kind of the perception that he's owned by Wall Street, no uh, public option in, uh, in Obamacare, all sorts of things that are not happy uh, if you're a liberal Democrat. However, this will make the liberals run to the polls, and that's not good for Mitt Romney in the state of Missouri. Well, Romney was smart, in my opinion, with how he dealt with this. Romney saw a dead man walking and pushed him over the cliff uh, himself. But here's the problem. I compare this almost to the Anthony Weiner mm. effect. Weiner, some will argue, didn't have to resign. But the reason why Democrats pushed him over the cliff is because every Democrat in America was going to be forced to respond to Anthony Weiner in New York and this guy that was sending, apparently, pictures of himself. And so the problem for every Republican in America, and even the top of the ticket is going to be forced to deal with this repeatedly, is what do you think about this Congress? But right. Jessica, well, even, even if Aiken himself isn't the issue, don't Republicans, doesn't Romney and Ryan don't they get hurt more by abortion just being a conversation topic well, the, at all? The problem with this incident is that it's making abortion front and center when it should be the economy, and that's what Republicans should be talking about in this race, and that dynamic has obviously changed as a result of this. Yeah. So Jessica's 100% uh, right. Every day that the Republicans are forced to talk about something other than the uh, over 8.5% unemployment rate is a day that Obama is winning the day. But the Democrats poured money into the Republican primary in Missouri for Todd Aiken because they were hoping something like this was going to happen. He barely won that Republican primary. It was a very competitive race. And Democrats are, you know, rubbing their hands together the fact that he did. But no matter which side you're on, this issue does rally the base. And in an election where there are fewer undecided voters than we've seen in the past, isn't th there is a, a little silver lining for both sides because they, they need the bases to turn out, correct? Well, I think it's too soon to tell what's really going to happen here. Like, as Dominic was saying with Anthony Weiner, you know, remember, he dug his heels in in the beginning and was not heeding to calls for his resignation. It sometimes takes them, you know, they have big egos. It takes them a little while to sort of digest what the reality of the situation is. So I'm not counting this race as being over yet, and I'd like to really see them get him out of the race and get a new candidate. This race has all the drama of a Harlem Globetrotters <laughs> basketball game. <laughs> this race is over. It is triple over. <laughs> And, and some laughs as well. Exactly. All right, and again, we want to keep this conversation going online. Head over to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Richard French Live. The question, once again, should Aiken drop out of the race? You can also tweet us your responses. When we come back on RFL tonight, we shift our focus to the other hot campaign topic right now, Medicare. Is it a winning issue for either campaign? We'll get into that. And later, stop and frisk. The controversial crime-fighting tactic, it's more popular than you might think. All that and more on RFL. Stay with us.